Oh. Hello. You're back again. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining me today. This is another time lapse, if you've already guessed. It's one of my original pieces, so thank you for clicking on this one. It's one that came straight out of my noggin, so I appreciate your interest. This particular piece is one that I kind of had in my head for a while. I had just watched Lizzie Borden, the Netflix TV show, and I, I love the backstory of that particular storyline. It's really kind of horrific and daunting, so if you get a chance, I highly recommend it. I have a lot of ideas when it comes to geisha monsters in that particular series because I get really inspired by Japanese culture and Jap Japanese ghost stories in particular, and I kind of wanted to combine these two storylines into one. So I wanted to have something like Lizzie Borden's alternate personality, or what would she look like if she looked in the mirror, what does she see herself? She's really kind of a dark person who doesn't see herself as dark because of all these things that have happened around her. So this is something that I really was passionate about portraying. Of Not everyone looks the same on the inside as they do on the outside. The silhouette of the ghost is more of a period silhouette. So the, the gown that she's wearing, or she would be wearing if she was wearing clothes, she's a ghost, it would just fall right off of her. But it, it's more of a uh, 18th century, 19th century kind of silhouette, so I wanted the ghost to appear dated so that it would appear to be in the Lizzie Borden era. And then the kimono of, well, my Lizzie character, my Mrs. Borden, uh, I wanted it to contrast because I wanted them to be stark opposite. It, there is no pink or purple anywhere near her kimono, but I wanted them to be as one and as opposites. So one is the other side of the mirror, if you will. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, sharing this video, or checking out my Patreon. Thanks for watching.